assaulted in these showers. <gasps> Two. What's up guys, Jody Dean here, Mr. Hunting the Dead. Welcome back to another video. Tonight I am here with my friend Omar Gosh and we are getting ready to investigate Brushy Mountain State Penitentiary. This is death row. This is? I believe so, I didn't want to say that though. This is way different than upstairs. What's going on, D-Block? Your warden's here. Do we got any boys in here that like some yard time? Did you hear something? That was like a cough or like a grunt or something. I didn't hear it, but I felt like, I felt something, like, move. Well, why is there, like, a woman speak or something? <laughs> there was just, like, a growl or something that came from right here. Is that you? Somebody in there that want to talk? Bro, we are inside Brushy Mountain. How are you feeling tonight? You know, I almost forgot the feeling of coming here and, and, and just the eeriness. And it was almost like instant. I mean, I haven't been here in a couple years, but it's like right when I stepped foot in, in here, like I'm quickly reminded of everything that happened to me, you know, the, the different scenarios and um, not even that, just the history, the sadness. I believe we're gonna catch something truly unique tonight. Uh, this is a, a great place to start right here in, in death row, for sure. Hello? Alright, so like Omar said, we are starting in the death row area where people basically would have been caged awaiting their death. So, um, there's definitely an intense sadness in this general area. All right, so it's about midnight right now as we are embarking into this prison of paranormal trap souls. The other side of D block right here. Anybody in here feel like talking with a with the pastor? Dude, it suddenly just got really cold, like right right between me and you. Right in here. They would execute people in there? That's where the electric chair was. Oh wow. It's kind of hard to see. So basically, people could stand here and watch these people be put to their death. No. Well, yeah, but look, this was the room. So there was a room in here mm -hmm. with a little window. And it'd be like the families of whoever, you know, let's say this person murdered their, their kid or something. And they get to watch the execution take place. You can see the little window. 
What did that sound like? I don't know. It sounded like somebody was walking towards us. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I thought I just seen something move inside there. That's locked, right? I'm know. sure it is. Let's see. Yeah, it's locked. Maybe it was like our shadow or a reflection. Yeah, we can definitely do that. And right now we're heading to, um, we're going to be heading to James Earl Ray's cell. And they believe that uh, he possibly killed Martin Luther King. Well, there there's some conspiracy theories as to him being innocent, but he spent a lot of time here. They even said that the King family tried to prove that he was innocent. The Kings themselves. Well, they wanted to give him a fair trial. Like James Earl uh, Ray, I keep wanting to say James Earl Jones. Yeah. But he was never given a trial. And right. finally, when they agreed to, they sent him off to Nashville and mysteriously died. Not long after that. So right. He was really never given a, a trial. It was almost like if that happened, I don't know, maybe, maybe he really didn't. That proved a lot about the character of the Kings, man. Like, they were carrying on the legacy, like, I, fair, treat people right. Like, they want to see everybody have equal trial. chance. Yeah. Yeah, there, there's a lot of stories uh, behind that. But James, James uh, Ray, James Earl Ray, he spent a lot of time with you. We're going to try to reach out to him and just, just ask him, you know, where you respond. Hello? I'm so glad you heard that. For a second there, I was like, am I just hearing things or? So I was in here a couple of years back towards the end, and you can hear it almost sound like somebody with steel toe boots walking down the hall. Like maybe like, <gasps> whoa! Yeah, you're gonna see some Look at this right old there. art, bro. That's cool. That is amazing, dude. I got a good idea. Oh. Let's both turn our lights off real quick. Let's go dark. And let's see if like that enhances it if we feel or hear or anything you want to I got the, this lantern has a, a dark feature all right guys I'm gonna turn off my light real quick if there's somebody in here with us if there's somebody in here with us will you make a tapping noise Will you let us know where you are? Will you say something into our cameras? You heard that? Yeah. It sounded like it came from... Was it that cell? Like downstairs or something. If there's something or someone down there, can you make a noise? How about this? How about I count to three and then you make a noise? Can we do that? One. Two. <laughs> two. <laughs> Turn the light on. Oh my god, I wasn't even recording that. And it was like somebody down there, like, I, I, I don't even know what that was. It was like a cell moved and there was like a groan or something. I thought that there was something like floating in the air towards us. Like halfway Oh, through. you seen something? I seen like, a, it was like a green cloud it looked like. What? Maybe like 10 feet away. Bro, I got the chills so bad right now. All right, so we're working our way out of the D block region. We're out of D block, but we're working our way 
uh, over to James Earl Ray's cell. Um, guys, make sure that you're hitting the like on both our videos. Also, make sure that you're sharing our videos. It's very important. Uh, we put a lot of work into these videos to go to places that uh, we hope to make you happy. That we hope that make spirits happy by giving them a voice. And there was so many that were mistreated here, probably like Omar said earlier. Uh, he was saying that, you know, there's a lot of innocent people here that didn't deserve the treatment they got. Maybe they were completely innocent and um, wrongfully, accused. wrongfully accused. And we're here to give them a voice. So for that reason, please smash that thumbs up. So technically we are in the yard right now. Look at the big lights right there that we get put on. You know, one thing that's pretty crazy about this place is they're constantly finding things on the grounds that would have been used maybe by the guards or prisoners back in the day. And some of the things they found are really creepy. There's something about prisons and jails that just have such a hold on spiritual energy unlike anything else. I mean, every place we go to, just about we can find spirits, even places that don't have claims of being haunted. But, but prisons, jails, sanatoriums, they're places that have had people living, going crazy, feeling sad, being depressed, mad, angry, aggressive. And all those energies and those memories, those thoughts are stored in the walls of these places. You okay? Yeah. All right. I thought I lost you for a moment there. Yeah, I thought I lost you too. I just guess we just went on. Who's I call. I heard it. It sounds like somebody's moving in a cell. family visitation so for some people this would have been the last place they've seen their loved ones ever That it just sounded like a growl. Probably. That was like a really deep voice. I felt like it sounded like. I don't know. Gosh, it's so
What did it look like? It almost looked like a human spider, bro. A human spider? I swear, dude. It was like some, it was almost like somebody crawling with their hands on the ground and they were coming fast. <gasps> oh, <gasps> there was a voice. There's a bat. There's something there. It, 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 I was a bat. It's the auditorium? No, this is the cafeteria. Cafeteria. Yeah. Now, on the, I think it was Ghost Hunters. One of those shows, they captured like the, a shadow figure behind one of these columns. Really? He carved on the moon. I caught a chair, they just moved it right in front of me, dude, just, just, just sliding. That was probably one of the coolest panels I've ever caught. Right in there. That sounds pretty cool. Is there something here that would like to manifest itself? Did you hear that? Yeah. Sound like... There was a voice. It sounded like it was coming from my left, and one just came from the right. Is there any spirits here that want to communicate with us? What do you think that was? Is anybody hungry? You're walking down the line where they would have served prisoners their food right here. And I guarantee you that with knowing the history of this place, that there is something bad that happened in every inch of this brick castle here. And I can't help but wonder how many people may have been shanked, bullied, their food taken from them right here in this very line. All right, so we're gonna be leaving the auditorium right now. Or the cafeteria, sorry. Something bad happened in these showers here. Were you assaulted in these showers? Grab my hip. Bro. Oh.
Omar just came in here. He asked me if I was okay. I told him that uh, I asked the question if I was if anybody was assaulted in here, and I felt like somebody grabbed my hip like so forcefully. I feel like I may have a bruise there, and uh, I said I almost dropped my light. And he said, "Well, you know what? It's a good thing you didn't drop." I said, "What?" He said, "The soap." Joey's gonna go in here separately, but I challenged Joey to go in there. To go in here? Yeah, that's where I heard the noise. And there is a legit shadow person that lives in there and it scratches people. Okay, I'll do it if you'll do me a favor. What? Close this door behind me when I go in. Okay. All right. Okay. Be careful though. Okay.